Blast to left field, hit well. Going back, Rotino at the wall, looks up, and it is gone! Here's the pitch, that swung on a drive to right center, hit well. Going back forward the center fielder, Peterson at the wall, and it is gone! with outfielder Michael Taylor. We're going to ask him some pop culture questions and get to know him a little better. Um, so first question, how do you feel about Oprah's retirement? Oh, random. Uh, <laughs> well, obviously she's been extremely influential during her time period. She's created quite an empire for herself and she has a loyal, stable of followers. So um, I guess she's a bit of the American dream. So I wish her luck whatever she does next. I'm sure she'll be just fine. Okay, and um, who is your favorite cast member of Jersey Shore? Um, wow. You know, I've been asked a Jersey Shore question a few times over the last couple of years, and I have to be honest, I don't watch that show very much. I think I've seen it twice, and uh, I'm half Italian. My father's Italian, so a bit of it is, is kind of funny to me because I don't have anyone in my family who acts like that. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> So, I don't understand. I'm not mad at them, you know, whatever. They're making a lot of money, I guess, working the system over, so good for them. But favorite cast member, probably uh, DJ, DJ Pauly. Should I know that? Pauly D. Is that his name, DJ Pauly D? Yeah. Yeah, he seems like the most normal out of the group, out of the guys, so we'll, we'll go with him. Yeah. Um, no Jim Tim Laundry for you, then? No, no, no. I mean, we kind of have to work out as athletes. Um, I don't tan because I'm black, so that's not really necessary. <laughs> And I, get, I think laundry is kind of essential for all human beings. So it really, like, two out of the three don't really matter to me. Okay. Um, so who is your celebrity crush? I don't know. Every time I have a celebrity crush, it's married. Um, <laughs> she can be married. For a while, I would say, um, for a while now, it's kind of been Natalie Portman. Is that, is that random? Natalie Portman? Yeah. Not a lot of people, I think, feel the same way. Yeah, she's extremely, she's, she, I'm, I'm stuttering. See, I stopped talking about her, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, she's extremely bright. She's unbelievably talented. I actually liked Black Swan which I thought I was going to hate. I got dragged there by a girl. And uh, I thought I was going to hate it, but I loved it. I thought her performance was great. And I don't know. I think she's kind of classically beautiful. Herself, so. um, and if you weren't a ball player, what would you be? You know what? I've, uh, I've said this on more than one occasion, but uh, I was a poli-sci major at school. And I think I'd want to be like an analyst. I'd love to work in the Pentagon. It seems very interesting to me. I like to be on the inside of what's going on in life. So um, that'd be awesome. I'm just learning. How we, re how we relate to other countries around the world and what we actually do and what's said and like, how do we have those foreign relations I think would be cool. Okay, and um, do you have any bromances with other Rivercats players? <laughs> bromances? <laughs> or who do you have a bromance crush on? We're, uh, you know what, we're, this whole team can be defined by the bromance. Um, this is as close a knit, close knit group guys I've ever been around. I mean, everyone's got secrets. You can't get away with anything on this team. I mean. I'm surprised there's not a guy who's going to pop out over the dugout and just try and say something to blow me up in this interview. I mean, it's pretty uh, it's pretty special, pretty special group of guys. Um, but I don't know, I play cards a lot with like Wes and Jay and Weeksy and Cardenas. And, um, so, I mean, a lot of my time is spent kind of just messing around with those guys. And, yeah. Sounds like a five-way bromance. I, I don't know how my mom would feel about <laughs> I'm throwing five-way bromance out there, but yeah, let's let's just call it a 24-way romance. Okay. And just, I mean, if we're gonna make it that dirty, we might as well make it dirty all the way. Um, and if you were featured in The Hangover, what stuff would happen to you? I don't know. I <laughs> what I wanted to say, I can't say. Um, oh. I would say that if I was featured in The Hangover, you know, I'm not an angry. I guess they, I, guess, I don't know, I've never seen The Hangover 2, I'm actually meaning to go see that this week, but I'm never angry when I'm out, you know, out on the, out on the town, I'm always a happy guy, so um, I would bet that my photos at the end of the night would be extremely interesting, a lot of laughs, a lot of smiles, uh, a lot of me posing in front of stuff, I can see that quite a bit, <laughs> like randomly on a bar, like posing, or in a place I'm not supposed to be posing, I can see a lot of that stuff, but I, I try and stay away from all the like the craziest raunchy stuff. Like I think that one guy gets shot in this movie. And, yeah. You know, I'm trying not to marry a hooker like in the first one. So all those things I'd probably try and stay away from and maybe just stay with some crazy photos and just laughs. Okay. 